Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can make sure that your PC is outputting the correct or the highest resolution to your monitors and your TVs. So in this setup here I've got a Windows 10 PC and I've got a 720p monitor and I've also got a 1080p TV. Now at the moment I do my work on this monitor here but I like to have the TV here to watch YouTube and Netflix and stuff while I'm working. So. At the moment this monitor here is outputting correctly at 720p but on this TV here it should be outputting at 1080p but it's not, it's outputting at 1080i so it's interlaced, it's not progressive and basically although that won't make much difference if you're just looking at a still image when it comes to fast moving images it looks a lot better on 1080p than it does on 1080i so I'm going to show you how to change the settings to make sure you are getting the correct resolution. Okay, so if we go down to the Windows icon in the corner, and if we left click, and then if we go to this icon here, settings, the second icon up, and left click, and then what we need to do is we need to go up to where it says system, left click, and here we have a page where it says display. So at the moment, like I said earlier, I've got a TV and a monitor connected to the one PC. So first of all, you just want to make sure that you're working on the correct one. So as you can see, it says two here and one here. And right, if I click and identify this bit here, it will come up with a two there and a one there. Let me just do that again. Two, one. So I know the monitor is number two and the TV is number one. So at the moment I know the monitor's correct, I will show you that just a little later in the video, but I just want to get the TV working properly because if I zoom in down the bottom here and press OK on my TV remote control, you can see it says HDMI 1, it says 1080i, it doesn't say 1080p. Let's zoom in again, you see 1080i at 60Hz, I want that to say 1080p at 60Hz because the TV is capable of that. Now what 60 hertz basically means is if you imagine a still picture, well it would be 60 of those per second, and that's what gives us the look of motion. So for example, if it was 30 hertz, it's not going to look as smooth, it's going to be a little bit more jerky than 60 hertz, because that's 60 images per second. Right, so what we're going to do is, we're on number one here at the moment, and at the moment it does say here, resolution, 1920 by 1080 but it doesn't give us any option to do interlaced or progressive and it tells us to do recommended at 1280 times 720 but if I was to click on that one and keep the images now when I look down here you can see it's 720p at 60 Hertz and also as well I've got issues now with a black border around the picture so I'm going to put it back to 1920 times 1080 which is up the top keep these changes but we've still got the 1080i so I'm just going to show you how to change that to P so what we need to do is if we were to scroll down you can see it says display adapter properties so I'm going to click on that button there left click and now if you have a look it brings up this setting here and if you look it says list all modes so I'm going to click on list all modes left click and now it tells me what mode I'm actually on. So at the moment I'm on 1920 by 1080 true color, 32 bit, 29 hertz. And that's why it's showing as interlaced because it's only 29 hertz. So it's only showing 29 images per second. But if I go all the way down here, you can see here I've got 1920 by 1080 true color, 32 bit at 60 hertz. So that's going to give us the progressive scan. So if I click on that there, and then click on OK, and we're not quite done yet, I just need to go down and click Apply. So let me just zoom out a bit and you see what will happen. It will ask me do I want to keep the changes. So I'm going to click on Apply, and now it says, do you want to keep these changes? Well, I know it's come up there, so I'm going to click Keep Changes. And now, just press OK to get rid of that. Now if I go over here, and if I go to OK, can you see now it's come up with 1080p at 60 hertz, which is what I want. I didn't want the 1080i, I wanted 1080p at 60 hertz. Right, OK, so that's the TV done. Now we just want to double check that the monitor's OK. So I'm just going to go back. 
And again, I'm on this page here now. Right, so if I was to just to click one of the buttons on the monitor, I can see now it says 1360 times 768 at 60 hertz. So I know that that is okay. If it wasn't displaying at what you thought was correct for your monitor, then what you would need to do is, remember when we did identity, it came up with a one and two, so I know that the monitor is this one here. So I need to click on this one here to highlight it. And now this is gonna be the settings for the display on the monitor. So let's say now, if I was to try and up that, it won't let me because it recognizes I haven't got a 1080 display. And if I go down to, again, the same as before, if I go down to display adapter properties, and go to list all modes, you can see it's already working at the best available one it can do, which is 1360 by 768, true color, 32 bit at 60 hertz. So I know now that my monitor's working the maximum resolution that it can do on this PC, and I now also know that my TV is working at the maximum resolution it can do on this PC. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.